Hi guys, it's Alex from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at face recognition in Python. I'll be leaving a link to the full text write up of this tutorial in the description below. So let's dive in. Face recognition as a whole is awesome. The fact that we're able to write software that accurately picks out where someone's eyes and nose reside within an image still astounds me. And the fact that there are libraries out there for these sort of things is also awesome. These libraries help to lower the barrier to entry for beginners looking to write their own face, face recognition systems and allow people to do some really cool things. Now, we're going to be basing this tutorial off the face recognition library which can be found on GitHub. It's got over 7,000 stars and over 1,000 forks. And I'll leave a link to this GitHub page in the description below. Now, just to give you some context, this face recognition library is built on top of Dlib. Now, Dlib is a modern C++ toolkit that contains many machine learning algorithms and tools for creating complex software in C++. Now, we aren't going to be going into too much detail as to how this works. We're just going to be looking at how you can use this library to write your own face recognition software in Python. Now, before you can get started with the face recognition library, you're going to have to install it, and that can be done using the pip command. So pip3 install face recognition. It should be noted that there are some underlying dependencies that this library relies on, and you may have to work through installing and updating these libraries and frameworks in order for this to work. So let's dive into some code. Now, first and foremost, we're going to want to import the face recognition library. So we'll import face recognition. After that, we're going to want to load in an image. So image equals face recognition dot load image file. And in this example, I'm going to pass in my stock people dot JPEG file. Now this stock people dot JPEG file is just a standard stock image that I found off the web. Coming back to our code, we're then going to want to try and find all the locations of all the faces within our image. So face locations equals face recognition dot face locations and pass in our image. After this, we're going to want to print out our results. So I found face is in this photograph and we're going to want to format this with the length of our face locations. So now let's try and run this. So Python 3.6 and I've called my file simple.py. This may take a little bit of time to run but it should then return that it's found five faces in this photograph. And as you can see that matches up with exactly what we had. Now, this is pretty cool. In four lines of code, we've been able to determine exactly how many people are present within this, the photograph that we passed in. But let's now try and take this a little bit further. A more complex example would be identifying the exact coordinates of each of the faces that we found, and then translating those coordinates into separate images. So this can be done like so. So we'll start off by importing the Python image library and importing image. Next we're going to want to do is actually iterate over the face locations list or iterable that was returned. So for face location and face locations we essentially want to do the following. So top, right, bottom, left equals face location and we'll then print out what these coordinates are. So a face located at pixel location top left bottom and right and again we're going to format this with top left bottom and right. Next, we're going to want to access the actual face itself. So face image equals image top, bottom, left, and right. And we're going to want to create an image from this array. So PIL image equals image dot from array. 
and pass in our face image. And next thing we're going to want to do is save this. So PIL uh, image dot save. And we're going to call this face dash nat dot JPEG and format it with I, which will then declare up here. So I equals zero. And after this is done, we'll set I to equal I plus one. So let's try and run this. Now coming back to it, you should see that all five of our faces were found and it's printed out the coordinates in pixels of all these five faces. Now, if I was to come back into my current directory, I would see that all five of these faces has made it into a .jpg file. Awesome. So far, so good. We've been able to take one image and extract all of the faces from that image. But how can we extend this further? How can we determine who is within a particular image? Well, the face recognition library makes that really simple for us. So let's go back to our original Python program. And I want to take out pretty much everything up to here. And I'm going to use two images. So I'm going to use one of just Barack Obama and one of him in a crowd. And I'm going to try to determine whether Barack exists within this crowd.jpg um, file. So coming back here, I'm going to want to pass in people slash Barak dot JPEG. And I'm going to also want to create an unknown image. And again, we're going to want to use the load image file method and pass in people slash crude dot JPEG. Okay, so I'm going to want to create a barrack encoding and that's going to equal face recognition dot face encodings of our original image, which is Barak Obama. And we're also going to want to create an unknown unknown encoding face recognition dot face encodings unknown image and we're going to want to see the results. So results equals face recognition dot compare faces and we're going to use the Barak encoding and our unknown encoding. Finally, we're going to want to print out the results. So print results. And let's try to run that. So Python 3.6 and simple.py. Give that a couple of seconds and it should come back true. Awesome. So we know it works for this particular image, but let's now try uh, another one that doesn't contain Barack Obama. So I've just gone away and downloaded a wonderful image of Trump. And we're now going to change this to people slash Trump.jpg. And again, we're going to try and run this. Give it another couple of seconds and you should see that it comes back as false. And it does. Awesome. So hopefully this really short tutorial gives you some indication as to how powerful the face recognition library could be. You could in theory use this for a number of different applications, such as monitoring who comes to your door every day. You could in theory build up a, an index of all the known people to you, such as your postman, your family, your friends. And if you had a live video feed, you could then monitor that and perform face recognition upon some of the images within that video and check to see who is actually coming to your door. That's just one very small example of what you could do, but the possibilities are obviously endless. So I hope you found this tutorial useful or entertaining. And if you did, please feel free to support the channel by giving this video a like and subscribing for more Python related content. Cheers.